But first, we're going cat spotting. <laughs> Bengals in Buckinghamshire? Confused? Well, these are Bengals and we're in Buckinghamshire. I'm with Esmond Gay who breeds these rare cats. They stalk rather than walk. They have a pelt instead of fur. They wail rather than meow. Anything else that sets them apart? Leave the potatoes alone. Oh yes, they love water. They adore water. How, they will... how close do they get to water? How close? To the extent of uh, going to the toilet all over my potatoes when Sarah's oh. trying to peel them. Oh, gosh. Um, some of them will only drink water when Sarah goes to turn the tap on. Will they actually get into yes, water? Yes, they actually get into the bath. The bathroom is out, out of bounds completely. They'll do anything for water. Uh, Ocelot, one of our babies, um, well, babies, he's 18 months old, sometimes he will actually get out and he'll always come back with soaking paws. So we know somewhere along this road there's someone with a pond where he's been fishing. <laughs> They are beautiful. Can you tell us the origins of, the, of this breed? The Bengal first was developed by mating an Egyptian male to an actual wild Asian leopard cat. An F1 Bengal is now a Bengal cross a wild Asian leopard cat. Um, so it's the son or daughter of an Asian leopard cat. The F1 Bengal is very slinky, it's very sleek. The hind legs are always higher than the front legs. The patterning of the coat, the huge spots and the rosettes are much, much more pronounced on the F1. The head is very wedge shape, the ears very, very small, the tail very bushy and thick, very much like their father, the Asian leopard cat, very much like that. Esmond, when did the breed start? Uh, the breed started in about 1987 by a lady called Jean Mills. 87? In 1987, yes. It's a very so, new breed. What? Only eight years ago? Yeah. It was actually developed with the help of a doctor called Dr. Central because the Asian leopard cat is the only cat that's immune to feline leukaemia and it's just taken off from there. How many kittens have you got at the moment? We've got about 34. About? About 34, yes, it's very difficult to count. They play fight quite a bit more roughly, not nastily, but they're quite rough. Um, they like to have a good old scream and chase each other around the house, they'll tear around the house. So it must be a bit dangerous with all your china. Yes, um, everything is uh, either blue tack down or, as in the cups case, nailed down. But everything else is blue tack down. This is the sort of thing they, they get up to yeah. uh, up here. Um, th we did have one accident just a few weeks ago where um, they were having a, a play fight up here and they brought the whole of this down and smashed £5,000 dinner service, which was very upsetting. So all this is new? Yes, this is all new, all new. <laughs> Gosh, they're lovely to watch, aren't they? Look at these. You haven't named all the little ones yet, obviously, but uh, the big ones. Yes, that's uh, Ocelot up the top. Oh. Um, in the Japanese house is uh, Bobby Dazzler. He's one of our stud cats. And uh, we do name some of the kittens if we think their personalities really stand out, but normally we do leave it to their new families uh, to name them. How do they get on with the dogs? Um, funnily enough, they got on, even from a very, very young age, they got on wonderfully with the dogs. They'll actually climb all over the dogs and play on the dogs, and the dogs don't mind, the dogs just That's snooze away. Lovely. They're very, very gentle. Our bulldog, Samson, he does get a bit rough sometimes, playfully, and tread on them, but uh, normally they're absolutely fine, which is lovely that they are brought up with the dogs. Have they got a particular pecking order in the yes, they have. boss cats? Oh, most definitely, yes. Ocelot is uh, the boss. He's one of our F1s. He's just uh, one of four F1s in the country. We have two. And then it's the females, funnily enough, not the males. It's the females, and then there's a definite pecking order. Definite pecking order, yes. We call it a hierarchy in, yeah. the, in the household. Yes, Who a comes stupid first. thing to say. And, pecking and order, I'm quite low down on the pecking order you as are. well. Yes, yes. <laughs> They're a domestic cat that anyone can have, but they've got an air of nature about them. They yeah. are a, a part of a wild cat, very closely bred to a wild cat, and yet they're, they're completely domestic. That's what I found so beautiful about them. They give you so much love, Rolf. They give you so much love. They just play all the time, and just seeing them at feeding time, following Sarah around, following me around, that's the sort of pleasure, just looking around and seeing them and thinking, you know, that, 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 that they all love you. They've all got so much love to give, and that's what I love about them. You know, Esmond's right there. Cats do give us a lot of love. And most of us try to repay them by making sure that they're well provided for. <laughs>